Hey guys, what's up? I'm Srupia and today we will take a rest from Cast Clash because we are going to play Learn to Fly, an amazing browser game, in my opinion one of the best browser games. Really, you have to check that out. So this is a game about penguin that is trying to fly. Uh, as the title says, he's learning how to fly. Learning to fly. So without worthless talking, let's move to the game with an with an amazing uh, storyline that is really heartbreaking in my opinion and sometimes it's really sad. Sometimes it's really funny, like right now in that moment, it is going to be really funny. GGLQEP, the awesome penguin article. So let's read something about Empire Emperor penguins, some information, and there you go. No, no, no way. Flightless birds? Wow. They are writing that penguins are flightless birds. Of course, they are, they are fat, they have small wings, but no, no, penguins can fly. And we are going to prove that in that game, as you can see, we are starting on the ramp and nothing much happened. Flight distance, max altitude, flight duration, and the total score gives us rewards in dollars. And what can do with this? We can use our dollars to upgrade ramp high, acceleration, air resistance, glitter, rocket, and after buying rocket, we will have fuel in right there. And now we have five stages. Each is based on each consecutive stage is just bigger. This is 5 inch ramp, this is 10, 20, 35 and 50 inch ramp. So the difference is pretty big as you can see on the photo. And in each stage we have 4 achievements to get, excluding the last one in which there's 5th achievement. <laughs> the hardest in game to get. All of these four achievements are distance, altitude and speed. Hmm, what else? Altitude, distance, speed and duration of the flight, yeah. Okay, after that flight we'll be able to buy glitter that is going to change that game, really. Because now we cannot do too many things day free. That's always how this, game, how this game starts. We are just bouncing twice on the water, getting 17 dollars. And now we can buy that leader. <laughs> Hell yeah! And that, that is the moment when the game really starts. We have some information how to use our broken leader. We have speedometer right there. We have altimeter. And oh! That's what we did. First achievement distance. We earned just $25, but this is first stage. And we can just buy some upgrades right now. Acceleration, ramp high. And you will see the big difference in speed at the beginning. Acceleration is one of the most important from the Unves 3 upgrades. You are starting with a great speed when you are gliding. Now, speed achievement, time achievement, and the last achievement today on that stage to get is. Yep, you are correct, that is altitude achievement. Hmm. Air resistance? Okay, why not? After completing two achievements on one stage, we can move to the next one, but I always do all the achievements before moving to the next stage. 
Okay, so we are going for, for the altitude. And that's it. 82 door. Altitude achievement completed. So we have completed all of the achievements on the first stage and now we are going, going to move on the another one. Fuck. I didn't want to buy these upgrades but accidentally I did it. But it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, fly you little, little penguin buster. Oh, over hundred dollars. That's pretty much. Speed achievement, hundred dollars. Reward. That's a lot. Now we can buy that rocket. And we need some rocket fuel for it. So it will be more useful to activate the rocket we have to press space. Yeah, like I like I wouldn't know. Okay, altitude achievement and now maybe speed achievement. Mm, not sure if, if I if we get any of them. Yeah, this altitude achievement, but we didn't get a speed achievement. Let's get some rocket fuel, a resistance, and try now to get. Oh, we did it! Reach 70 miles per hour. So now it's all about glide for 8 seconds and travel 200 feet. It won't be really hard with a rocket fuel. We will see how rockets really change the game. Because we can recover our speed whenever we want. As you can see, it gave me some additional seconds and distance. So now we will get this achievement. Yep, there you go, distance achievement and time achievement. Hmm, this glitter is worth $4,000 and we have, we have only over 4000 But I think after getting an achievement now, we'll be able to buy it. Come on, altitude achievement maybe with a, with a speed one. That's the easiest way to get these two achievements, I think so. Yeah, we got the altitude. And that's all, but now we have over thousand dollars and can buy that amazing second leader. Hmm, travel, reach, speed, glide. Hmm, let's try to get all of them. We'll use half fuel at the beginning to get that speed. Yeah, we got it. As you can see on on the new glider we have speedometer as before and altimeter no big changes but now at least it's not broken <laughs> just really the previous one was broken we didn't get all the achievements did we? Acceleration, let's do the acceleration. Oh, travel 650 feet. I thought we will go, we're going to get it. But now it won't be a big problem. I just don't have to use all fuel at the beginning. And that's it. Come on, come on, yeah. What the fuck? Why I didn't get that achievement? Okay, never mind. After upgrading um, Ramkai, I am sure we'll get it. Now we are starting with a higher altitude. And it won't be a big problem to get that achievement. Oh, 
Okay, and yeah, I was correct. Mm, Five thousand for Villa's glitter. I don't know why this game lags a little bit. Let's see what we've got out right there. Let's turn it off, turn it off. And... Okay. 35 inch ramp. That will be a big difference. And let's see if we can get any of the achievements at the beginning. Because achievements on that round will give us two thousand dollars yep yep and yep altitude achievement really now we need just one more achievement to get the last liter oh we travel thousand and five hundred feet reach hundred and fifty miles per hour glide for 25 seconds are you serious? These are some badass achievements. Right now I try to get the speed achievement. But I'm not sure because my speedometer is not showing more than 100 miles per hour. Nope, I didn't get it. But after that flight I will get the last glitter. So there's no need to get any achievements right now. But it doesn't matter that I won't try to get them. Oh, at the bottom of the speedometer you can, you can see critical velocity. It shows when my speed is just too big and a resistance is just really decreasing my energy, my speed and it's just wasting it, it's just a waste so there you go the last glitter no i think we should buy the rockets to be honest but <laughs> i forgot about the rockets that was my mistake but whatever we have the best glitter and the worst rocket and just look at that the last glitter is so amazing it has so many information, speed, resistance, distance, altitude, and the classic speedometer, of course, that looks still amazing. Okay, okay, let's see if we can get any of the achievements. Yeah, we'll get distance and speed achievement, maybe a time achievement also. I think we'll get all of them. Yeah, distance achievement, speed achievement, and time achievement. We got over six thousand dollars and almost two thousand for we uh, from flight. Can we just jump to the last rocket? I don't, I don't know to be honest. But now let's move to the last stage. Can we get any of the achievements? No, we can't. Ah, this rocket is just too weak. It's too weak for that stage. Because that stage has the hardest achievements. And yeah. Oh man. Just 600 more. Hmm, what achievements can get there? Fly up to 225 feet. Really? Are you kidding me? It won't be easy, but we can try it. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, that was really fast, to be honest. Maybe we'll get the speed achievement, I'm not sure. No, that was very close, but we can buy that rocket. 
so I didn't buy the previous one, I saved $2000 and the last rocket just looks amazing to be honest, with that rocket we'll get at least the speed achievement, yep, we'll, we got it. Okay, come on, give me money. There you go, altitude achievement, speed achievement. We have over $10,000 from those two achievements. Let's buy the, let's buy the fuel and uh, reduce the air resistance. Now we have just three more achievements to go. Distance of 4,000 feet. Mm, we have to fly. I don't know how many seconds. But the hardest achievement among all of them is fly the distance of 6,000 feet. 6,000 feet! That's ridiculous! Well, for me it's, it won't be that hard to be honest because I used to play that game many times before and it always makes me happy when I play it. It will never become the boring game for me because it's really enjoyable with a nice storyline and it always makes me laugh, sometimes sad when there are sad parts in that game and yeah. By the way, there's also the second version of, the, of this game that is more extended, it has much more stuff to do more game modes, there's more storyline mm, and more achievements, much more achievements, new things to buy, a lot of things to change. So what did we get? We got the distance achievement, the time achievement and for now There's just waste waiting for us. The last achievement. Reach 6000 feet. Can we do that? To be honest, I don't know guys. But we can try of course. And that won't be easy. Okay. We have to keep high alti altitude, but we cannot lose the speed, and we have to save. We have to save the fuel. Okay, we are getting close to 4,000 feet with half fuel in our rocket. Come on, come on. Yeah, we have... We have over 4,000 feet. 4,000 and a half. We're getting close to 5,000. Yeah, we got over 5,000 and have just a little bit of fuel, really. Just a little bit fuel. Come on. I know you can do this. Come on, you little damn penguin. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No. Yes. That was so close. I did it. I'm so happy I can fly. Now I proved that the penguins can fly or at least they can learn how to fly there you go, our amazing flying penguin has crashed oh damn that really hurts and that is why nobody believes that penguins can fly or learn to fly, whatever you want to say. So guys, if you want to play that game, 
I will put link in the description, you can just google it, learn to fly and you have to share your score in comments right in how many days you have completed the game my score is 22 days in my opinion that is really good score and write in comments if you want to see the gameplay from the second version of this game that's even more amazing stay tuned guys for more until next time for you through PL